Welcome back to Starfield. We have... That's always going to happen when I all tab back into the game after starting a video, I guess. We uh, uh, are picking up where we left off, but I've gone through and cleaned up uh, everything behind us, looking for extra loot, and sorted out the inventory, uh, including a bunch of the extra junk we had on the ship. I've redefined my threshold for what I think is worth picking up uh, to be a little more uh, stringent here. Uh, so we are started a refuse pile right at the foot of the ship, leaving, uh, like, like many Americans, I'm leaving a pile of shit behind me when I leave this place. Uh, we found a modified weapon. So this is very similar to the other Maelstrom, but it's apparently semi-automatic. Uh, I assume since this is not blue, like this rare one, this is like an applied crafting mod instead of a uh, uh, a legendary effect. Um, so I, I kept that. Uh, I stashed the laser weapons. We'll save those for later. Uh, other things we've got. We've got uh, a pirate survival pack we looted from somewhere, um, which is interesting. It's got basic boost pack. I seem to vaguely recall that I heard some of the boost packs are pretty cool, but I don't know uh anything about it. it judging by its design it's a well, like a jet pack which makes sense um so we might check that out at some point i believe this is tied to a skill though so we'll have to look for the tree for that um the stats look pretty good too it looks like it's a pretty good upgrade uh the thing that's keeping me with the tunnel mining pack here though i'm looking at this physical damage resistance and i'm assuming since we're getting fired at by uh conventional weapons here it probably makes sense to actually keep that we also found a pirate helmet which i do like the aesthetics of um the stats are just different resistances and the weight is slightly worse so my inclination is to keep the one we have because it's better weight uh, but i decided not to stash this just because it was new and i wanted to point it out um i think that's it Poppy mugs meet my threshold still. Basically, the loot threshold I have is take the mass, multiply it by 2, and multiply it by 100. And compare it to value. So essentially what you do here is you take the mass as it stands, double it, ignore the decimal place, and uh, if it's equal or greater, then it's worth taking. So that's worth it. But this 10 versus 8 is not. That That's what I'm doing. Oh, I also decided I'm going to collect uh, every playing card. Uh, that we can get our hands on. Because that sounds fun. And I like cards. Also, that's the thing I found out. You can, like, mantle shit. Pretty sick. They don't have that in Skyrim. Vacuum tape is crap. You're not good enough. I would take it if it was a different globe, but that's the one we have. I recognize it. Uh, I've got a few decorations I've already put into the uh, the ship. Oh, we don't have a sand sculpture. I'll steal that. I should uh, linger on these for a second so you can read them. Hey, a copy of Frankenstein. Okay. Maybe we should collect books. That might be a good thing to collect. I can't help but... Oh, hello computer. I can't help but collect crap in a Bethesda game. I just... I have to. I have to collect all the crap. Okay, let's uh... We'll check the computer after we check these side rooms. Dumbbell. Uh, Levitating Desk Planet. That's new. Solar Frontiers game. Oh, no, wait. That was not new. Oh, well. Uh... Is that you making the clicking sound, man? I can never be sure. Why do you have a locker just for pencils? That's some weird psychopath behavior. I say that as a person who has a cupboard in my kitchen that is the battery slash portable CD player cupboard. <laughs> Where there's like four batteries and two portable CD players just stashed in there. All right, uh, let's check the logs here. Or did we look at this one? We looked at a computer. Uh, I don't remember looking at one of this much stuff, though. 
Hayden Wynn, can't believe it, I got the post thing. The United Colonies, that's very close to the United, the, the U.S. Colonial Marines. Just the United Colonies is missing the United States or United Systems, I forget, part in the middle. U.C. instead of U.S.C. You get what I'm saying. Everybody gets what I'm saying. I don't know why I'm over-explaining it. Uh, now official, I can't imagine the amount of red tape they had to cut through at mass, but it's long overdue and I get to be a part of it from the ground up. My official title would be Associate Xenobiology Technician. I ship out in three days. Amanda's upset, but I assured her I'll have plenty of leave and I will be back in New Atlantis all the time. Still not sure where I'm going. Definitely somewhere in the United Colony space. Guess I'll find out when I get there. Uh, what date was that? January 2306, February 2306. We got our first extraterrestrial candidate today. What appeared to be an alien form of Lucage Venusta. Or Lucage Venusta. Essentially a giant spider. Uh, Mickelson in full protective gear attempted to attach the neural control interface NCI. Our security detail is still trying to remove him from the cocoon. And we had no choice but to put down the creature. Wow. A minor setback. And none of us is about to success on the first try. I heard Dr. Paulson tell the others that detachment of United Colonies Marines, uh, UCM, we're really close to USCM, guys, is scheduled to deliver another creature next Thursday. This is very aliens. Ashta specimen. May 2306. I'm not sure how they managed it, but the UC Marines actually managed to bring us an Ashta. It's not... It's not that the ash is a terrifying beast and natural predator. Those are both exceptional, wonderful qualities and essential to the work we're doing here. It's that the ash is native to the planet Aquila in the Cheyenne system. Aquila, home to Aquila City, capital of the Free Star Collective. Leave it to a group of ground pounders to grab a candidate right from the enemy's backyard. Though it does beg the question, have Free Star Collective scientists managed to weaponize their greatest natural predator? If so, our timetable just got accelerated. Great, a biological arms race. That never goes badly, huh? May, trial failure. Any fears that our Free Star Collective counterparts have managed to weaponize the Ashta have been completely dispelled. After the Michelson debacle, we determined the NCI should only be attached to her full sedation, so that wasn't an issue. The problem started immediately afterwards. The Ashta proved incredibly resistant to synchronization, and we never achieved control fidelity beyond 47%. Dr. Chin's arm was nearly ripped off five minutes into the first trial. In short, the Astra simply can't be controlled. If not by us, then certainly not by the Free Star Collective. Dr. Paulson has been in touch with Colonel Kazarov. It looks like the Marines will have another, spe another species collected and dropped off by this time next week. More disappointment to May 2306. Another creature, another failure. No fault of the UC Ground Pounders. We wanted a predator and they delivered. Was it literally a predator? These things... We're so alien. Paulson had a difficult time deciding on a designation. Opted for Reptans Veninum. Shame we couldn't properly sink the NCI. These things would have been spectacular, especially the poison. Unfortunate. New specimens. July 2306. Marines dropped another few specimens off this morning. Totally unscheduled. Best way to describe them? They're arthropods, the alien equivalent of Homarus gammarus. Basically, giant space lobsters. Very promising giant space lobsters. Not entirely sure where the UC grunts found these particular test subjects. Some godforsaken backwater rock, I imagine. After the third or fourth unsuccessful trial, I stopped asking. None of those earlier species could be controlled with any reliability. As noted in my earlier logs, their natural aggressiveness made them effective weapons, but a bullet is less than useless if the gun keeps turning itself on the shooter. But these new creatures possess a perfect natural disposition, not aggressive, even docile, yet capable of defending themselves with deadly efficiency when threatened. And when they do go on the attack, they're terrifying, so we'll see. Lobsters. Relocation, August 2306. We're moving. Packing up shop and transitioning the entire operation. Happens so fast, my head is spinning. I need a drink. The work on the arthropods has been so successful, we're actually relocating to their home world. Oh, we'll have an unlimited supply of creatures for the Xeno Warfare Division. I've been named Senior Xenobiologist. That means I'll be running the entire facility. My first instinct was to tell Amanda. I'm not used to her not being there. I'll give Michelson credit. The guy really went to bat for me. He let the mass brass know that it was my work tuning the NCI that was instrumental to controlling the arthropod. I guess Paulson is being forced to retire. Good riddance. So, uh, Mr. Hayden Wynn here traded off uh, his work for his relationship, I guess. And his work is 
uh, controlling space lobsters. Yeah, um, well, it certainly is a choice. Yeah, they're really leaning into the, uh, the alien step here. Become part of a better future, building better worlds. Hmm, suspicious. I mean, it's a good it's a good source to take inspiration from. By all means. Much like how uh, when I play Fallout, part of me likes to think I'm playing a Terminator game, uh, and that's that's a good thing. Uh, part of me will be perfectly happy to think I'm playing an Aliens game when I'm playing this game, right? I am down for that. Argon? How the fuck do you have Argon? I guess it it's like... It could be a... a, a some sort of pressurized Argon container. To be clear, Argon is a noble gas. So it would be weird to find it in a pocket, right? That'd be like checking somebody's pockets and finding that they've got a bunch of uh, oxygen in their pocket. Well, that's a bad example, because you do carry oxygen around, especially in uh, a space scenario. But you get my point. You get my point. Oh, I think this is the little thing I killed. Yeah, one of these. It was like a heat leech or something. Oh, a pharmaceutical lab. Interesting. Okay, well, let's steal all of this shit. Because this looks like crafting stuff for a pharmaceutical lab if I ever saw one. Okay. So the pharmaceutical lab, that's going to lead me to believe we got like a Fallout workbench type situation. Where you have your different workbench types. And they're used to craft the different uh, things. So... Presumably, for like weapon mods, we need to find an appropriate bench to add them. That probably fucking explodes. Let's not mess with that too much. All right, let's check this out. Okay. Antimicrobial membrane makes antibiotics. Okay, this seems pretty pretty self-explanatory. Treating afflictions. Okay, apparently we have a billion uh, types of like injury, which is crazy. I don't see a compelling need to um, make any of these quite yet. Treats brain injury, concussion, heat stroke, hernia, hypothermia, lung damage, poisoning, and radiation poisoning. Jesus. Okay. Uh, yeah. Pretty self-explanatory, but uh, we'll leave that be. Okay, I mean, we're definitely going to fight um, a space bug. Because we keep seeing claw marks and shit everywhere. Testing 01. Door locked, unlock novice. Alright. Why don't we clear the room first? Empty beer bottles in the research lab. That's, uh... What are, you, what are you, grad students? Come on, guys. Be professional. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Are you crouching? Uh, okay. Well, this room's got some stuff going on in it. What are we doing here? What the fuck?
I don't know if they will ever really need to scan anything in these uh, areas. Okay, I guess none of this matters. I just sate my curiosity, you know. Sometimes you just gotta shoot something, see what happens. Just so you, you don't find yourself wondering about it. Is there, is there something in there? Yeah, there's one of those little crab dudes from outside. Oh, the crab things. Are they? Is this? This is that planet. Duh. I get it. I'm stupid. Probably the uh, the big crabs are the ones they were weaponizing. Would be my guess. The little trilobites are probably just other other stuff to check out okay so yeah we can see the inner layer so i think it makes most sense to work backwards that's like my inclination at least so obviously we need something with uh, two closely placed ones, like that. And then presumably this goes there, maybe? I believe it. So that was this one and that one, which leaves us with these two. Oh, you can align these uh, without having set them yet. That's nice. Uh, okay. Oh, I didn't even realize I was setting those clicking them uh, on the inner ring. I mean, it worked. That system's a little... Uh, like, the system for confirming the set is a little weird. I could see myself uh, fucking that up. A soil bowl, um, you don't say. Unpredictable, uh, SRQ, sure, totally, makes sense. Excuse me? Oh, is that the computer waking up? I think so. Chemists have all the solutions. Ah, ha, 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 sarcasm. Oh my god, it's like every fucking grad student office I've ever been in. Holy shit! Okay. Okay, another safe. Can you get off my dick, robot? This is why I never bring companions. Oh, cred stick. Yeah, money. So, I think the strategy we did of uh, figuring out these things first is really good. I mean, that looks like that's got to be a solution, right? Yeah. Okay, more credits. Sure. Seems fine. Oh yeah, we missed a computer out front. I totally forgot. Oh, 
that's the guy from the things. Well, look how, oh, 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 opportunities for secrets. Opportunities for getting stuck on geometry. Always read the computers, because if we don't, we'll never find them again. They would be lost, oh, there it is. Lost to us forever. Uh, war! A hidden win again! January 2308. Were we 2306 before? We might have been. By establishing the colony of Vesta, the Free Star Collective have forced the UC's hand. Vesta is in the asteroid in the... Asteroid belt? Probably not. Probably a different Vesta. Um... Such a flagrant violation of the Treaty of Narion, whatever that is. Our diplomats tried to resolve this peacefully... Uh, but the Council of Governors wouldn't listen to reason. Apparently they claimed that Vesta was not a colony, but rather just an insignificant farming outpost. Nice try. By all accounts, the Red Devils and the Stalkers worked in perfect unison, and the results were everything we could have hoped for. No Red Devil or Stalker casualties. Uh, Vesta's defenders were apparently taken by complete surprise, which greatly contributed to their fatality rate, 93%. It's a great day for the Red Devils, a great day for the Union Colonies, and a great day for Xeno Warfare. No, no, it's not lost on me that this classified facility is actually located within Free Star Collective Space. So goes the great game. Phase 2, Hayden Wynn, Senior Xenobiologist. April 2308. It's finally time. After a number of successful missions with the Red Devils, the stalkers have proven to be exactly the weapons we had hoped for. So it's time to expand our operation. Mass has finally approved the next stage of this facility's operation. Project Pet Shop Phase 2 will now commence. Stalkers, April 2308. We've officially stopped work on the Stalkers. There are enough creatures in the field to serve the Red Devils. We have been here to train in over a year. If we, if they need more, we can easily gather some of the planet, fit them with NCIs. But from this point on, our focus is phase two. Heat leeches. So that's what we ran into. May 1st, 2308. Throughout the settled systems from civilized worlds to backwater bush towns, pilots have had to deal with the nuisance commonly known as the heat leech. I had my own unpleasant experience four years ago at the New Atlantis spaceport. My transport was delayed while the deck crew removed a few of these filthy things from the aft thrusters. They're attracted to heat, feed off of it through some endothermic process. Uh, so thrusters are the perfect place for them to hide. They can take a full afterburner burst with no ill effects. No ill effect on the heat leeches, that is. A ship with an infestation can generally expect a 3-5% to 5 drop in thruster efficiency. Working with the heat leeches has been interesting, if not entirely satisfying. We have 11 of them in the lab, and by all accounts, they're completely innocuous, save for their heat siphoning properties. But if there are a way to weaponize them, of course. Perhaps artificially enhance their heat siphoning to completely and instantly disable a ship, or even better, to somehow reverse the process where they transfer their own heat into a ship. Someday. Today, I fear we lack the means to do either. Great. Uh, I'm feeling like it's probably uh, in the best interest of everybody if this man is killed. So let's unlock this. <laughs> so this doesn't seem to... Oh no, the line's there. Definitely the best thing to do is to always start with the really close spaced things. So this has to be there. That has to be there on the inner ring. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Terramorph Specimen, August 2310. Thanks to the UC Marines, we now have the second piece of the puzzle, a full-grown alpha predator. According to my research, a group of astrogeologists made first contact nearly 100 years ago on summer moon. It was in a movie called Alien. The creatures didn't appear to be indigenous, and that was alone. Well, yeah. The creature didn't appear to be indigenous and was alone. There's currently no record of how it got there. 
So it was sheer cosmic chance that the astrogeologist found it, or rather it found them. Very, very alien. <laughs> Scientists were quick to categorize it. Ocisio Machina, roughly killing machine. The UC Marines task of taking it down shows a simpler name, Terramorph. I read the official record once. Of the eight-person squad, only two of the grunts survived, and one of those two lost a leg. Such an exciting time to be in Xeno Warfare. This guy's the worst. <laughs> NCI fitting today, uh, August 20th, 2310, Hayden Wynn. Today we fit the Terramorph of the NCI. If our experience when the grunts first drop out, the creatures any indication, our sedation window will be around 15 minutes. We better make them count. How weird is it uh, to have computers with logs from the same guy spread all throughout the facility um, and in chronological order as you come in from the front door? That doesn't make any sense, does it, robot? It's kind of almost immersion breaking. It's like we're in a video game. How about that? I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks and a disregard for personal property rights. Oh, you fucking bet your booty I got a disregard for that. Hell yeah. So, uh, somewhere. Toilet paper. We could. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there's a little leech dude. Oh, there's a safe. Oh no, anyway. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. <laughs> well, that's just unfortunate. Was this you? Were you the one who died? Were you win? Alright, uh, interesting loadout here. So, this one has to be the bottom level, because there is literally no other spot it can go. Leaving us with three spots on the bottom level, which means it has to be this key, right? Uh, yes. So, the U you you easy and you almost uh bone that one up there but apparently it knows to not slot them if they can't be slotted so that's good oh bashing rattler deals double damage on gun bashing gee whiz that's gonna be uh Fucking worthless. Oh yeah, we got that helmet. Bolstering deep space mining helmet. Literally straight upgrade. Uh, your suit is protecting you from environmental damage. I guess that just pops up when you put on a helmet. Okay. Can't help but notice that bolstering is literally copy pasted from uh, Fallout, but you know it's fine. Okay, roof access. I guess we're done. Your watch beeps faster as your suit runs out of protection. Is that the little radar at the bottom left hand corner? The watch? Uh, and what's the significant of significance of suit protection? Protection from what? What are we talking here? Are we talking gas? Are we talking vacuum? Are we talking flamethrowers? Like, what are we... What counts? That's something I've been wondering. Like, should I... Am I going to be running around in a spacesuit constantly? Or am I going to, like, ever take it off? 
Um, yeah, a caffeine. Also a fucking grad student poster. All right, well, um, I think that's it, right? Oops. All right, I guess we'll go to the roof. Still expecting to fight that terror more. Oh, uh, okay. Disassembler Coachman. Rare shotgun. 20 damage to percent damage to robots. Okay. Science crate. So yeah, big old big old loot crate. Got it. Uh okay, that's another extra deep space mining helmet. Hmm, cool. Um I guess we'll just slap it on the on the fucking bar. Uh, unlike the bashing rattler, which I'm gonna just toss in the. Uh, can we wear this under the spacesuit? We can. We'll stick with the ballistic. Okay. Frontier has a new captain. Cool helmet. You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? What's your problem with Barrett, anyway? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, this will be fun. What? 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 Was that ship attacking me too? Back in the cover a little bit. Uh, what is happening? To the oh, the game crashed. Let's try this again. Uh, what if I just shoot you? <laughs> Posted one of them quick. The robot down below? Like what why? Why'd you why'd you go down? Am I actually suddenly encumbered? Well not suddenly, but I am encumbered. Uh uh You know what? I'm confident I have both of these. Get rid of those. 
Uh, helmets, are you worth money? 190, yeah, they're worth quite a bit. I could ditch the cutter. I could pick up a new one uh, from the trash pile near my ship. Well, whatever. We'll, we'll limp out of here with some extra crap. I need a proper scope weapon. Alright, fuck it. Let's loot. Anti-ballistic helmet. Oh, hell fucking yes! Fuck this bolstering bullshit. 15% incoming physical damage from ranged weapons? Give me that shit. Star Roamer Space Helmet. So we lose some physical, but we get 50% damage reduction. I don't know how that compares, actually. But I mean, 22, 30, 26. Twenty-two, thirty, twenty-six 30, 26 seems pretty good, right? 34 to 30, 22. No, it's identical, but like, yeah, I like the secondary effect better. So that seems fine. All right, take that. All right, we should probably quick save just in case the game crashes. Um, if that crash was a fluke, fine. If that happens again when like a ship shows up, we'll have to play with graphical settings. I already made some minor changes to graphical settings uh, before this episode. Are they all dead? No. Where's my robot friend? Was this guy a melee? No. I need a sniper rifle. Yeah, come closer, dumbass. That'll help. Thank you, idiot. So, uh, I'm wondering if the encumbered system is like stage stages or something. Because like, we could still move well with this partial encumberance at least. Um, it's just our stamina drops when we move, which our O2, which is our O2. Um, so I'm like totally fine to like uh, push this. Apparently, there's more dudes. Oh, there's no way I can fast travel to my ship with like this, right? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, friend. We need to reach the Alpha Centauri. So do you let's, uh, require let's trade some gear? With your yes, yes, I do. I do require assistance with my gear. Uh, uh, inventory. Uh, misc. No, let me keep those. Some of this shit's probably not uh, worth it because I definitely picked up some stuff on accident, but boy, am I not going to take the time to sort through it. I'm just going to chuck it all in here. Uh, helmets. You can have this and this and this and this. Oh, pirate. Wait, we got two different pirate helmets. Well, whatever. It's fine. Uh, you can have this. You can have this. Oh, we got uh, doubles of those. Uh... Can have some of these. Oh, we got a modified Grendel. Sick. Can I? No, I cannot like favorite on this screen. Uh, that's probably fine. Yeah, we got a lot of space. Goodbye. Let's try out the. Uh, was that a scope weapon? That actually might be scoped. Uh, favorite you over the old bullpup. 
Uh, that was not the old bullpup slot, but you know what? It's fine. Oh yeah, this baby's scoped. Get fucking wrecked, pirate scum. Hey, stop trying to run away from me. You appear to be prioritizing our deaths over your own survival. I'm fine. We're fine. Oh, look at the planet. All right. I... I'm going to have to edit this episode down. Yeah, that's our shit we dumped. Alright, well, I mean, this is the other end of the dungeon. I wonder if we can just w jump over the edge safely. I don't... Probably try that, to be honest. Uh, it's low gravity. It's probably fine, right? It's probably... Uh, shouldn't be, right? Because you still have all the, like, uh, momentum. Because your mass doesn't change. Your weight... The way you feel your mass changes in low gravity. You still have... Like, the momentum mass times velocity is consistent. It is not affected by the gravitational field. And that's what does the damage, if I'm not mistaken, in terms of falling. Not usually a thing I need to be concerned about, um, how fall damage works in, in space in real life. But, you know, it, uh, it can't hurt to think about it a little bit. Uh, any other good loot around here? I mean, I'm seeing plenty of bad loot. Plenty of trash. Absolute fucking trash. Now, it did say we could fast travel. I guess we could try that. Um, let's go make sure there's nothing hiding. Uh... In the corner. Oh, there is. Yeah, there's stairs there on the side. So there is the potential for a little bit of extra shit to be hiding around up here. Definitely feels like a place you'd hide some shit. Trash. We're not wrong. Didn't seem like that great of a gun. That just seemed like a standard Grendel, but, you know. Free shit. Weapons do seem to be one of the better uh, trade goods, so there's that. I wonder if the fast traveling is actually our objective. Okay, apparently there's a whole other roof section up here. Um, well, anyway, it seems like we're probably just about done with this planet, technically. Uh, we will definitely be checking out some of the other stuff on this planet. Like, storyline seems like it's done, but we'll check out some of these other buildings. Uh, we never did find the Terramore. So, I, I have a feeling maybe that's a hook for, like, planet exploration? Hey, there's a Terramorph out there if you want to go find it. Wait, is this a different... Yeah, we came from over there. So I think what we'll do is we'll get those bodies looted, we'll make it back to the ship, and we'll wrap it up here. And then uh, this episode will be however long it ends up being after I edit out 
um, everything I need to edit out of this fucking episode. Hello. What is... Ooh, a Demos pack. That's like a... Another one of these, right? Yeah. Just some... Uh, it's like just a recolor. But it's got a nice, you know, red. Probably a Mars thing. Demos is a moon of Mars, so that would make sense. 30, 22, 20, 26, 30... Basic boost pack. Yeah, so this is better defenses. Um, we lose two and we gain a bunch. 25-5, 25-5. So the, the distribution of resistances is uh, the same, essentially. The weight is the same. Uh, that seems like an easy choice to equip. All right, we're starting to get a hodgepodge spacesuit here. That's That's fine. Okay, uh, science. Oh, that's really far. Okay. It's not lethal. <laughs> it's not lethal. But I'm not gonna, I mean, we could do that. Oh, I am actually pretty injured, so it's actually not even that much damage. Um... Well, let's try uh, from not the highest height, maybe. So we were fighting dudes over here primarily. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Bethesda, Bethesda, okay. That's <laughs> hard. Okay, yeah, let's uh, let's try and uh, do one of these. Ho, 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 ho. Look at us. Have uh, the, in wait. Do we go down there? Whoops, we're fine. Okay, uh, maybe we do one of these. Yeah, pirates. Pirate. I really like this. Highlighting corpses in the environment on the scanner. Brilliant game decision. The amount of times I have killed shit in, like, Fallout or whatever, and then ran around like a dipshit trying to figure out where the fuck my loot's at? What, what was that? Return to the ship, I guess. This is the one I just looted, right? Uh. Oh god, don't run. We might we might like fucking die or something. Cause we've got no uh no stuff. But the planet was scanned for a moment. Oh, uh, we could try the fast travel thing, but I think we're gonna we're gonna hold off on that. We still got more bodies for sure. We've only looted two. I really want to find the shielded one, the last one we killed there, because that one was uh, tougher. Probably has better shit. I mean, my theory would be that they're over here, I think. Oh, we have a scan, or uh, I mean a zoom. Uh, forgot about that. Not that it's terribly useful. Where the fuck did that body end up? Oh, my loot! We were up there. We were firing this direction. Did they get close enough? God damn it. I'd be like I gotta watch the footage back and try to figure out where they fucking died.
pirate there, pirate there. Two whole corpses. There's definitely more. Here? Ah, there's one. Ah, here they all are. So apparently you don't have a gun. That's weird. Okay, legendary. Okay, okay. So we get rares and legendaries. Uh, it sucks that it's a melee weapon, but that thing was pretty metal. Uh, I do like that we're getting these, like, right away and quickly. Um, I wanted to go to my inventory, not there, but I might as well quick save while I am there. Elemental Rip Shank, Legendary Melee, Physical Damage, Double Damage will to targets of full health, plus 20% attack speed, and randomly deals elemental damage. So triple modifiers? That's fucking wild. The uh, the audio is completely out of sync. Well, it was on the first swing. Oh, we have block. Okay, literally, literally Fallout stuff. Got it. I mean, this might be good for killing weak shit that's like not worth our time. But we just have the laser for that. I don't think. I'm, realistically, I don't think I ever use this. Well, that was definitely the armored one. That was definitely the one I wanted to get. The perspective. Were they really all the way over there? I guess. Because we were probably shooting at them, zoomed in all the way back over by this rock. So when they ran up, that's kind of them running up, I guess. Four pirates seems like it might be right. If our friend really didn't contribute to killing anybody, I can believe, I guess, that there was only four. All right, uh, let's try the uh, the whole thing it said. Fast traveler ship, press F to open the scan scanner. Never mind. Okay, the map is insane. Um, look for the map icon of the ship. That works encumbered? Maybe because it's like a special Captain, case? To reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of new atlantis do not worry this will all become second nature before too long okay that's all very well and nice we're not done here though um okay well why don't we end this one here then i think right nothing else to do right i think so I could show my garbage pile outside, but we can we can cover that in a future episode as it expands. Uh, so yeah, till next time.